Hi, my name is Sheikh Kadar. I have been Max tutor for the past 30 years. I am taking lesson from grade 6 to university students. But I noticed one thing. Even the university students don't know how to draw the basic graphs. For that reason, I am going to explain all the basic graphs, how to draw it. You please learn it. You may be grade 9 or university or secondary, O-level, AS level, but learn it very, very thoroughly. Okay. We are going to see scalar graph, uh, quadratic, uh, scalar graph, linear, quadratic, cubic, rational, radical, exponential, um, logarithm curve and sine cos star. All the basic graphs only. Watch it. Okay. Now, x is equal to 2. x is equal to 2. Graph x is equal to 2 means here 2. x. This is a straight line. x is equal to 2. Okay. Here, all this line from the beginning to here, x coordinate is 2. For example, here 2, 0, here 2, 2, here 2, 4, here 2, minus 2, 2, minus 4. You see, all the x coordinate is 2. So it is x is equal to 2. Okay. x is equal to minus 3 is this side, left hand side of the graph. x is equal to minus 3. Okay. This is what it is y axis, but this is x is equal to 0. Noticed? So x is equal to 2 or 1. This is x is equal to 5. I hope you got it. Now, same way. This is y equal to 3. What is this coordinate? 0, 3. This coordinate approximately 2, 3. This is 5, 3. Here if you notice, minus 2, 3. Minus 4, 3. So have you noticed all the y coordinates are 3. So this is y equal to 3. 1, 2, 3. y equal to 3. y equal to minus 5 is this one. Okay. This is the x-axis, but it is actually y equal to 0. Got it? Now scalar graph, we learnt how to draw it. Next is what is called linear graph y equal to x it is a positive gradient y equal to x it has to pass through the origin okay suppose in the same graph uh, they may ask you to draw y equal to 2x then you have to do it like this y equal to, this is y equal to x y equal to 2x, y equal to 5x, you got it, this is y equal to x, y equal to 2x, y equal to 5x, when coefficient of x increases, this will move towards the y, suppose we make it confused, suppose sometimes they will ask you to draw y equal to half x, you have to draw like this. Okay. When the coefficient of the axis increases, it will move to the towards the y. For example, when the axis is equal to 2, what is the y value? Y value will be for this one 4. So when the axis is equal to 2, here y equal to axis, y equal to 2 only. At the same time, when y equal to 2x, y value will be 4. Here it will be 10. So you understand how the uh, coordinates point is increasing. Accordingly, the line changes, uh, moves towards the y axis. It is called a vertical stretch. Okay. Next is y equal to minus x. y equal to minus x. This is nothing but reflect on x-axis. Of course, it reflect on y-axis too. 
both are same cases. You got it? This is y equal to minus x. Okay. Next is y equal to x square. y equal to x square. This is the graph. It is a quadratic graph. y equal to x square. y equal to 2x square. y equal to, this is y equal to 2x square. y equal to half x square, it will come like this. y equal to 4x square. In the same graph, some, sometimes they ask you to draw you understand how it is coming. Okay. Now, y equal to minus x square. This is y equal to minus x square. Till now, what we have seen? x is equal to a. This is called x is equal to a. a can be any 0, 2 or minus 3 or something. Then y equal to a. y equal to 3 minus 5, y equal to 0. Then y equal to x, y equal to x, y equal to 2x, y equal to half x, y equal to minus x. You understand? Okay. Then y equal to x square. It is concave up if it is positive. y equal to x square, y equal to 2x square, 4x square. When the coefficient of x increases, it is vertically stretch. This is called vertically stretch. Okay. Then y equal to half x square. This is vertically compressed. If it is a value is less than 1, it is vertically compressed. Okay. y equal to minus x square, it is concavity down. Got it? Okay. We have seen four graphs till now. Note it down. Sorry, I erased. Now, y equal to x cube. Okay, y equal to x cube. It is cubic graph. Cubic graph, if it is positive, it will start like this. Uh, uh, at zero point, it will inflex and then it will go towards infinity. This is y equal to x cube. Draw it. Now, y equal to minus x cube. Minus x cube will start from here. Okay. It will start from here. This is called y equal to minus x cube. Okay. Next is y equal to root x. 
how to draw always root x is square root is positive so the graph is only like this the radical graph y equal to root x okay y equal to minus root x will be x reflect on x axis y equal to minus root x yes. reflect on x axis okay then y equal to 1 over x this is generally will come y equal to 1 over x will have two asymptote x axis and y axis both are asymptote okay this is y equal to 1 over x O equal to minus 1 over x, how will it come? It's a rational graph. O equal to minus 1 over x. O equal to 1 over x squared. It is positive because of x squared so this is y equal to 1 over x squared is first and second quadrant only asymptote this all asymptote this is y equal to 1 over x squared here y equal to 1 over minus x squared minus 1 over x squared okay now y equal to 2 over x will come here this is y equal to 1 over x y equal to 2 over x is like this y equal to 4 over x is like this this is a 2 over x 4 over x is like this. You got my point? Here, since uh, it is a reciprocal, when the coefficient is increasing, it moves out of y. It moves uh, away from y. Here also the same case, y equal to 1 over x, 2 over x squared, like this. Oh, now, now, we have seen first four graphs, then the fifth graph is y equal to x cubed. It starts from the third quadrant if it is positive and it is passing through the origin and goes up. Minus infinity to plus infinity it will go. Uh, if it is negative graph, suppose y equal to minus x cube, it will start from uh, second quadrant. Minus infinity to plus infinity it will come. Uh, so, uh, plus infinity to minus infinity. Okay, now. Uh, y equal to root x radical graph root x is always positive square root always positive so this graph is first quadrant only y equal to minus root x like this okay y equal to 1 over x 1 over x is very simple one always remember y equal to 1 over x first and third quadrant y equal to minus 1 over x will come second and fourth y equal to 2 over x, 3 over x will go above 1 over x. Okay. y equal to 1 over x squared, first and second quadrant only, uh, like this. 1 over x squared. Minus 1 over x squared, it will come third and fourth quadrant. Draw it. Ninth is modulus x. 
modulus x is like this. This is y equal to modulus x. O equal to minus modulus x like this. I hope you got it. Minus modulus x reflect on the x axis. Okay. Some of them are getting confused. Since the modulus is coming, minus always positive. No, this minus is out of the modulus. So it should be that y value will be negative only. Okay. This is the ninth graph. Okay, note it down. Now, EX exponential graph. Exponential graph is This is called EX. Here the point is 0, 1. Coordinate is 1. Y coordinate is 1. This is Y equal to E power X. Y equal to minus E power X will be like this. Always First minus sign comes, it will be reflect on the x-axis. Okay, minus f of x reflect on the x-axis. F of minus x reflect on y-axis. Okay, now let us here, this will be point will be 0, comma minus 1. Now, this is, actually it is asymptote, you have to start from here. Okay, this is y equal to e power minus x. See, here minus, f of minus x means reflect on y axis. We will detail see in the next video the transformation graphs, how each uh, uh, function, it, 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 how it has been transformed. Just here, this is minus e power minus x. I hope you got it. Reflect on x axis, reflect on y axis. Y equal to e power x, we have seen it. Actually, we have to know basically y equal to e power x. Y equal to e power x is this is the graph. Next is ln x. e power x and ln x are inverse, you see it, this is the ln x, this point is 0, 1 comma 0, y equal to minus ln x reflect on x axis. Right? This is the y equal to minus ln x. In the same graph, if you draw y equal to e power x, ln x and e power x, this will come like this. Okay? 0, 1. Note it down. Next is y equal to a power x. a power x means 3 power x or 4 power x, anything. y equal to a power x is nothing but looks like e power x only. Okay, this is a power x. Y equal to e x and a power x looks same. 
here, 0, 1, but a value should be greater than 1. Suppose if a value is around 0.5 or 0.9, then y equal to a power x when a is between 0 to 1. e power, what is the e value? 2.7. So, it looks similar. e power minus 1 is 1 by 2.7. It will be coming around 0.3 something. So, like this. You understand? You got it? So, we have seen until now scalar x is equal to scalar and y equal to scalar and y equal to x then y equal to x square then y equal to x cube then y equal to root x then y equal to 1 over x y equal to 1 over x square y equal to e power x y equal to ln x y equal to a power x where a is greater than 1 and a is 0 to 1 now, the final is sine cos tan. sin x 0 180 360 cos x 0 180 360 1 minus 1 here this will be 1 this will be minus 1 ok this is 90 this is 270 here, this is, what is this coordinate? 90 degree, comma, 1. This is 270 degree, comma, minus 1. Okay. Here, what is the coordinate? 180 degree, comma, minus 1. Okay. Now, the tan x is, people generally will feel difficult. 90 degree on asymptote and 270 degree on another asymptote. Just to draw one line, uh, one graph in first quadrant and second quadrant it is 180 degree then 360 degree okay 0 to 90 in the first quadrant it is positive 90 to 180 below the y axis negative 180 to 270 it is positive this is a curve like this and 360, 270 to 360 like this. Okay. I hope uh, all your uh, basic doubts clear. Now see my another video. This will tell about the transformation. How? How it is going to transform? For example, there are eight rules. What are the rules? I will give just basic things. F of x plus a, x minus a, f of x plus a, x minus a, f of ax, a f of x, minus f of x, f of minus x. Out of this 8, we have seen minus f of x, f of minus x, we have already seen. And a times f of x is also seen. We have to see only these five rules, f of x plus a, x minus a, f of x plus a, f of x minus a, f of a, x. This, because a into f of x, y equal to x square, f of x is x square. Okay, now we have seen 2x squared also, how the graph will change. That is, this 2 is a. So that also we have seen. We will see in the next video these five points. Please share your opinion, how much it is beneficial or where you have still doubts, please, please share your opinion in the comment box. This will make you to do more in future videos.
Thank you.